My name is Jim Wolf, and I am a full-time faculty member here at Metropolitan Community College and I teach in the Design, Interactivity, Media Arts program. This is my 10th year of full-time teaching. Before I came to Nebraska, I lived and worked in Chicago and I was a designer and an account manager at a small graphic design studio agency. One of my favorite memories of, of my last job in Chicago was meeting this client who, who just, she just wanted a really simple, uh, inexpensive job. It was a four page brochure. And what I didn't know at the time was that she was actually shopping for a new design studio to do all, all the work that she was responsible for at her company. So what, what was a small four-page brochure turned into our second largest account in terms of billing. And it, it was just a great client relationship. So um, that, that taught me to always, always do your best because you just, you just never know where that, that relationship is gonna go. I'm originally from Michigan. That's where I was born and raised. Grew up in Southeast Michigan. And for the first two and a half years of college, I went to a community college in my hometown. And then I transferred to a state university where I got a bachelor's degree with a concentration in graphic design. my very first graphic design course, I had an instructor named Charles Breed. And he was just this really vivacious, outgoing, and incredibly interesting person who not only taught us about design, about the basics of design, but really got me to see how design connected with just about anything in the world. And it wasn't this far removed thing that only happened in a classroom or in a graphic design studio, but it, it, it's connected to everybody's life. It's actually the students here that I encounter at Metro that I, I, I find quite a few of them to be inspiring. When I look at what they're trying to accomplish, going, going to school full time or part time whatever that is, and then all the other things that they have going on in their lives. And they, they finish the degree and they, they go on to join that profession. It's incredible what, what some of the students do to accomplish their education, and that is really inspiring to me. The reason why I got into teaching was I needed a job. And I had always been curious about teaching. And when I moved to Nebraska, I didn't have any, I didn't have a job lined up. And I looked in the traditional places, design studios, advertising agencies, and then it just so happened there was an opening for a full-time graphic design instructor. So I applied and I got the job. And once, once I saw what the job was and, and started having those experiences, I've never, I've never thought of leaving. Pretty much on a daily basis, there's something new, something new to learn, either, either something new that the students are learning or something new that I have to learn so I can in turn bring that into the classroom and explain it to the students. Working with other faculty in my program and also college-wide is also a great experience to see all the, the new things that the other DEMA faculty are doing both in their classroom work but also in their own, in their own personal projects and getting to meet other, other people in other departments throughout the college and collaborate with them. There's always something new happening and, and something new to learn, and that's it's just really great and invigorating. 
Learning is something that can happen all the time, anywhere, in any situation. Even if a student thinks that a, a project is an utter failure, well, you still learned something. And maybe the only wrong way to approach learning or teaching is, is to not try. Just try it. Set aside, if, if you're uncomfortable with that subject matter or that task or that project, well, set that aside and have a little, a little faith, a little curiosity, a little sense of wonder to see, hey, can you, can you do this? And you might surprise yourself and discover, why well, yes, yes you can. As I'm getting ready to come to class each day is wondering what experience have my students had in the last few days with whatever project or material that they're working with. What, what do they think about it? What kind of conversation are we going to have that day? What are they going to show? Is, is the project going well for them? Is there something that I can do to help them to be more successful on that project or understand that subject matter? It makes planning for class a little more dynamic, but also really interesting because I don't, I don't really know every day what's going to happen in the classroom, but that, that can be kind of exciting and interesting as well. Is to be curious. And I think that to be successful at design, you have to be curious. Because more often than not, the project that you're going to be working on, whether it's in, in a classroom setting or out there in the profession, you're going to have to collaborate with other people, either one other person or a whole team of people. And so the, the project is going to probably come from them. And that's an opportunity to learn about another group of people, another target audience, another community. How do you communicate with this group of people? And how do you, how do you deliver that message or that project to this group of people so that they can use it? But in order to do that, you have to understand something about the people that you're talking to and the message or the goal that you're, you're trying to help them achieve. This is going to sound like something you'd see in an after-school special, but learning is fun. I think it's a blast. And even though I've been in this position for quite a while, I still love in engaging in the learning process and helping other people along that path. I try to bring a sense of enjoyment and fun into the classroom because, if I'm being honest, some, some of the classes, some of the projects are quite challenging, but there's no reason you can't have fun even when you're working hard or trying to learn something that's, that's complex. So learning, learning is fun. Technology is very central to teaching any of the subjects in the Design Interactivity Media Arts program. It's, it's almost like considering, well, how, how important is water to learning swimming? It's just, it's just a given that technology is, is woven into what we do. Trying to find the, the time to explore everything that I'm interested in and also relevant to teaching design. I love historical fiction. I love learning about the past, but also watching somebody tell a really great story. So whether that's a play or a television show, to watch a, a creative team research a time period and then develop characters and sets and, and scenery to recreate that and, and bring that to life and, and make it real, I, I just find that really fascinating. I'm Jim Wolf, and I'm an instructor in the Design Interactivity Media Arts program at the Elkhorn campus at Metropolitan Community College.